Okay, let's talk about Nandikano's predicament. You want to charity for him before you were discharged of the bond. What's your position regarding his recent legal victories in his battle with the federal government? I think uh, I, uh, we issued a statement uh, recently once his, uh, the appeal court confirmed the decision of the lower court to free him. And we said that government has a chance to play the role of reconciliation of everybody. And part of it is to make sure that you also, a government that also says that they uh, want to obey court orders, now want to go back and say, well, let us go to Supreme Court and so forth. Well, that is their, um, uh, their right if they want to do that. But we as the Southeast Caucus of the National Assembly issued a statement imploring the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the government, federal government of Nigeria, that haven't made a commitment that they will go by what the court says. And the court made a judgment and a pronouncement that it should be released for the federal government to come back again and now talking about discharge not acquitted, acquitted not discharged and all that type of thing, we think is simply continuing to exacerbate the tensions that are everywhere. Because as I tell you today, part of the problems we have in the Southeast is also the Namdukano matter. Because some miscreants, some people, some purveyors of violence have used it as a reason to continue to perpetrate violence in the zone. And he will be key to any resolution of this unending violence in the area. Uh, all right. Do you also, also share the same sentiment to some persons or <coughs> analysts who have said that Inamdekano's detention is a cause of insecurity in the southeast? I do not think that his detention is the sole cause of insecurity. Like I said, all manners of purveyors of violence and all manners of criminals and all that have used it as a reason to continue to foment insecurity in the area.